There. That's it. That's him. Hey man, what's up? What's going on? I'm about to hit you another video. As I always say, you know who I am. You know what I do, so I guess I better give you a video or else you're going to start bitching and whining and crying and moaning as you guys like to do nowadays. The top of this video is going to be like uh, Raul Castro, man. What the fuck are you smoking? Like, this is about Raul Castro. He, uh, Fidel's brother took over Cuba. Now, you know, he loosened up some strings in Cuba. I'll give him that. But he said he is ready to negotiate with the United States. And I'm thinking, where the fuck you get all this from? Like, where, who the fuck are you to say you're ready to negotiate with the United States? Have you have you looked at the people in Cuba? They've been ready to negotiate like fucking 50 years ago. Ever since Castro took over, they've been ready to negotiate. If you ask the people in Cuba, you know, he says they're willing to mend fences and sit down and discuss everything as long as both sides are treated as equals. Again, Raul, are you fucking kidding me over here? You want to be treated as equals? Cuba is basically damn near a third world country almost. There's certain parts of Cuba, like I said, Havana. There's certain parts that are beautiful. I advise people that if you can go down to Havana and visit, go to Havana and visit. I'm not mocking the Cuban people. But at the same time, Cuba is like Haiti with fucking a Spanish dialect. Now, what the fuck is this guy on? I mean, Cuba is like, like, like I said, a damn near third world country if it isn't already. There aren't many human rights activists or human rights are squashed down in Cuba. You know, they loosen up a little, you know. Cuba thinks it's like a factor like it was during the Cuban Missile Crisis when the Russians were putting set missiles and all that over there during the Kennedy administration. You know, what, what Raul needs to do, he needs to wake the fuck up, you know. Cuba's been hurting long enough. First of all, you need to, like, fucking become a fucking territory. You'll make, you make tons of money off of us. You'll get the sovereignty, you're like Puerto Rico. You can make tons of money, but you can say, well, we're not a state. This becomes, and besides... If you became a state or a territory, fucking Miami would lose half its fucking population. Dade County would at least. Well, oh, you gotta think about this like like a businessman now. You gotta be smarter than that. Yeah, you can be heavy-handed, but why would you want to be heavy-handed? You want to make some money, you want to get your people out of the rut. I mean, you say you communist. Communism's kind of dying. The only real communist countries are China and Russia. So at the end of the day, Raul, man, if you want to be equals. Let your people go. Ow. Deuce. There. That's it. That's him.